Hey guys, welcome back to Big Blue TV. And it's that time of the week again, where I'm just going to preview um, semi-final four then for Melody Festival this year, 2021. Right, I'll go through them in order today. I've given them all a little quick listen to, the snippet, 60 second snippets, and I've recently just saw the, the 30 second audition little clips that SVT have released. So, we'll give you my opinion on what I saw. Right, so Tess Merkel starts us off. Now, I was really looking forward to her because I knew she was from Alcazar, which I'm a massive fan of. So good, they were. So I was thinking, what is she going to sort of bring them to the table? Is she going to bring sort of an Alcazar sound? But with um, with her bandmate, what's her name? Is it Lena? The other, the other girl from Alcazar. She came back the other year with Victorious, and that was more of an updated disco. So I thought... Well, I bet Tess will bring something similar. And it looked like on the stage, it looks like it'll be quite fun to watch. She's got first position, like Charlotte last week. First position's been doing well this year. But uh, what I will say is it didn't stand out for me as much as some of the other first position songs this year. Even though it's disco, I thought, oh, this isn't certain to be in the top two at all. From what I saw, I was a bit disappointed. Andre Chanson, I think, is a possibility here, but getting through automatically, I think she's got, unless the snippet is just just not showing how good the song really is, from what I've heard, I think she might struggle. I'd say with this one. Well, on to the second one then. Is it Lovad? Lovad? Looks like she's seen, I don't know much about this artist actually, so let me know people, any information you know. I don't recall her ever competing before, I could be wrong. This looks like it's going to be a ballad. Coming after Tess, although I didn't think crazy things to Tess's song, um, it was an upbeat one where this is going to bring it down to a ballad. The songs in second position always struggle, but she seemed like she was doing okay. She might have a shot at getting through to Ando Chance. I think that's her best hope. And maybe she can perform it really well, because it seemed like it had potential possibility to get through to Ando Chance. Right. I would say his first name. Ephraim. Ephraim Leo. This song surprised me. And I think this is going to be in the running to automatically qualify. I thought it seemed decent, catchy song. The only thing I will say, sometimes maybe he doesn't look too confident on the stage from the bit I did see. But maybe during rehearsals, you're just getting used to the cameras and being in step rather than performing it, you know. 100%. Um, the only thing I'd say about that, reservations, but the song was catchy. It'll get a lot of votes. This is the dark horse of this semi-final, in my opinion. Right, the Mammas. Really look, everyone was really looking forward to these coming back. Uh, and I actually think, having listened to all of them, this was the song that stood out the most for me. So in the middle, isn't it, this song? Definitely, and then even saw the 30 second snippet. They've just got they've got so much charisma and chemistry on the stage. And people will be like, well, they probably should have gone last year. They're going to get loads of votes. And like I say, from what I heard, I think this is again going to be in the running for the, the whole Melody Festival win come the final. I think this is definitely through on Saturday night from what from the snippets I've heard. That's all I've got to go on. But this from the snippets should definitely be going through. And I've got no I've got no worries about that. It seemed really good. So well done, the mammoths coming back with a it's different than the move. It seems to be more sort of, what's the word, but sort of pulled back a little bit. The mammoths was a bit more upbeat re get and go. This had a bit more meaning to it and uh feeling. Well done. Right, Sanex. These are like, is that how I said that right? These are more like modern dance band, aren't they? Like modern version of Arvin Garner. They, their sound is a bit more, yeah, it's not retro, it's modern. And from the snippets I've heard, Andre Chance and then that, I think that's their best shot. I don't think it'll get in the top two because we've already had quite a few songs similar doing quite well and getting through. Well, like for instance, Arvin Garner, definitely through. So... But it seemed quite good. I think this semi-final needs that. So, good luck to them. Now, Clara. Clean and strong. 
I didn't know what to think to this. I saw her with a guitar, similar to Mariette last year in the rehearsal. More, slightly more upbeat song. I can't call this one. I really do feel I need to see the whole three minutes. And it's in sixth position. The songs in the sixth position this year have not done very well. So, but again, no, she's not in my top two. She'll be fighting out for racing and Andrew Chanton, in my opinion. Let me know more about this girl, people. Right, and finally, the last entrant for the year, then. Eric Sade. Big fan of this chap. Got a few of his albums, mainly from the ones like 10 odd years ago. Got his first one, and then he did two in volume one and two in one year. That was 2011. Good chap. Um, but listening to the snippet, I thought, oh, hmm, it's not got much going in it. I saw the performance, and he, he's, he's being a lot more mystical with his body movements. He, I just saw him on his own, the bit the snippet I saw. Don't know if he's got more dances at other bits of the song. I would have said before the semi final, oh, he's certainly through, definitely. I haven't seen the snippet in this in the rehearsal. I'm like, hmm, not sure actually. He, he's going to be relying on maybe a lot of um, loyal fans, maybe, to definitely get this through. And I would say the mammas are through with either Eric or Ephraim, if that's the same name, Leo. It'll be between those two. Um, having to have to see the whole three minute performance. But if this isn't you know, on point, Eric, because I, I didn't, the the music to me wasn't really catchy. But then again, it could just be not my sort of music. It, it didn't sound like it wasn't like popular or man boy, you know. It wasn't dramatic with key changes and got like schlager and that's the sort of stuff I like. And this is more modern radio stuff. So I think that's what it'd be. But the man was through with either Eric or Ephraim. And then... Definitely the, him or, or Leo, for instance, will be in the um, Andre Chanson at least. So everyone's in fight, I guess, for fourth spot. That's how I feel. Who would I say would get it? It's really tough. Well, I had to give fourth place to any of them. Okay, might be between Tess and Sanex. We shall see. Let us know what you think, people. And... Um, We'll be excited to see what happens then um, tonight. Right. I'll see you in a bit, people. Bye.